traveling and you're living out of a suitcase, there shouldn't be any reason for you to have to neglect your hair, skin, and beauty routine. However, I know it's impossible to keep the exact routine when you're on the road and flying across the entire globe to get to your destination. And when you're in the destination, things are different there as well. So today I'm gonna go through some tips and hacks that I personally do so that you can maintain that beautiful, fresh appearance wherever in the world your travels may take you. And if you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up so that the YouTube algorithm will share this with other fellow travelers. And if you haven't subscribed, I appreciate it. My first and my biggest, biggest tip when you're traveling is to stay hydrated when you're on the plane. So every passenger on an airplane takes in oxygen and then that's released as carbon dioxide. So in order to give everyone fresh oxygen, the plane has to bring in fresh air from the outside. However, when you're at those high altitudes, there's very little moisture in the air. So that makes like the perfect recipe for dry air. So the best way to stay hydrated is bring a water bottle, fill it up before you get on your plane, because those little cups that the stewardess bring around and fill for you, that is not enough water, depending on how long your flight is. If it's a four hour flight, maybe that's okay, but if you're on a long haul flight, you need to drink a lot of water during your travels. I bring this water bottle with me everywhere I go. I fill this up at the airport right after I get through security, and this is with me throughout the entire trip. However, if I'm in a different country and the water is not properly filtered, then of course I will have to splurge and buy the bottled water, but I always make sure I have water with me. And also, don't forget, if you're on a long haul and you, the stewardess don't come around enough times to fill up your water, you can get up and go to them and ask them to fill your water. Don't be scared to do that. I've done it many times and they're always very happy to do so. So if you're thirsty or if you need more water, don't feel afraid to get up and go ask. Another thing that I bring with me when I'm on a long haul flight are these little probiotic ginger and lemon teas. These are so good and I actually drink them at home as well. But I always bring them with me when I'm traveling. So ginger is an immunity booster. Mix that with those probiotics and you got a great little recipe here. And the flavors, the ginger and the lemon together, it's perfect. The stewardess, they have hot water. Ask them for a hot cup of water pull out your tea bag and go ahead and enjoy your tea. And this is also great to support your digestion when you're traveling. Lord knows that your digestion goes all over the place or it's non-existent sometimes <laughs> when you're traveling. And so this is a great little thing to help uh, stimulate that as well as it's caffeine free. So um, you can enjoy this and still get in some nap time while you're on your long haul flight. And there is nothing that quite dries out your skin more than the plain stale air that I just went over. That is gonna pull as much moisture out of your skin as it can because it's such stale air. So hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. I always have some type of lotion with me so that I can keep my skin moisturized. And before I get to the airport and everything, I pretty much slather my entire body in moisturizer if I'm heading on a long haul flight because I know when I get to my destination, it's gonna be drier than heck. My skin will just love me and look a lot more better and glowy than if I keep it moisturized than if I don't maintain it at all during my flight. And don't forget your chapstick. That's like a permanent must have when I travel, I mean. How do you live without chapstick? Not possible, right? <laughs> when you are on a long haul flight, do not wear any more makeup than you need to. It is so much better to keep your skin makeup free so that you can just keep moisturizing it and cleaning it as you need to without having to worry about makeup. Lord knows how much makeup cakes on and if you're on a flight for over eight, nine, 10, 12, 24 hours, I mean, wherever you're going, the worst thing you can do is go on a plane with a bunch of makeup and then sleep in that and just have it sitting on your face for that entire time. Yuck. If anything, maybe bring like a tinted moisturizer or something with you, um, but Lord, I'm one that has never left the house without makeup on, but I don't care anymore. I have learned it is better to go to the airport and not have makeup on my face than sleep and deal with my makeup while I'm on a long haul flight. Now, of course, if I'm just zipping across the country on a three, four hour flight, that's a little different. I will probably have a full face of makeup on, but if I'm heading over to Europe, Asia, wherever I'm heading, I will be makeupless. And not only does the plain air dry out your skin, but your little eyeballs here, they get really, really dry when you're up in the sky. Be sure to bring your eye drops. I have never been someone who has had dry eyes. The only time I've ever had dry eyes was right after I got my LASIK surgery, but that was expected because I just had my eyes cut open. But again, 
that lasted not even a week and my eyes are back to normal. I don't have issues with the dry eyes, but every time I get on a plane and I am sleeping and flying across the country, I get the worst dry eyes. It feels like there's sand in my eyes. It's awful. That's the only time I pull out my eye drops is when I'm in a plane. You'll never see these any other time on me. But my little eyes, they do not like long haul flights. Super dry, just like my skin. Now let's talk about cleaning your face while you're on a long haul flight or during your travels. When you're traveling, your skin gets exposed to a lot of different elements. A lot of dirt, wind, everything. It just kind of makes for the perfect little spot to have everything land, right? Even if you're on a long haul flight too, your skin may make you get a little oily or it's just time to have that really fresh, clean face feeling. So what I bring with on all my travels is Dr. Bronner's Cast Style Soap. This stuff is perfect. It's a solid, not a liquid, so we can bring this with not having to worry about liquids. And I can just pull it out when I'm wanting to wash my face, take it, lather it up over my face, and give myself a little facial while I'm traveling. And then of course, after that, I moisturize everything on my face again. Okay. Why I love this one, it's gentle on my face and it doesn't make it really dry. Like I, sometimes when I've used other soaps, I feel like I can't even move my face because it's so stiff. Not so much with this. So love, love, love this brand and this soap and it's great when you're in a pinch and you want to wash your face and it's good for your entire body. I actually use this for my entire body when I'm traveling. It's super great. Love it. The smell. It's amazing. I highly recommend this. Keep your face clean, keep it moisturized while you're traveling. So I am one that must shower and wash my hair daily. I have tried to be the one who doesn't sh wash my hair, but I, I just it's a hard habit for me. I, I feel like I need to always wash my hair. Whether it smells or an oil or whatever it is, I just always, I prefer to have clean hair. However, when you're traveling, that might not be the easiest thing to maintain. This is your best friend, dry shampoo. I pretty much always will shower daily, even when I'm traveling to clean my hair because you, my hair is exposed to the elements, just like our skin. You got sun damage, you got the wind damage, you got ocean sea salt, um, dirt is flying, it's, yeah. Your hair pulls and picks up a lot of icky things when you travel. I will always wash my hair. However, this has become very handy when I went to Europe. We leave in the afternoon, late evening here in, in the US, and then you don't arrive to your destination in Europe until the wee early mornings. And by the time you get to your hotel, you will not have a room, so you can't really go freshen up. You have to go to the public bathroom to freshen up and that's when this comes in because my hair is probably starting to get a little oily by that time. So I do a little touch up, wash my face, I do all my makeup then, and then we are off to start our first day. We don't check in because usually you can't because the rooms aren't ready yet. This will be your best friend, dry shampoo. I am a very big fan of having multi-purpose makeup when I travel. That helps not fill up my bag with a whole bunch of different makeup. I try to just bring the necessities and then I use items that I can use multi-purpose. So for example, this right here is my bronzer palette. I use this as my bronzer. So I put it all over my face like I do and inside I have enough different natural tones so I can use this palette for other items such as my eyeshadow so I don't have to bring different eyeshadow with. I don't usually wear eyeshadow but if we're going out for a fancy dinner or something and I kind of want to dress things up, I pull out my bronzer palette, I pick one of these pretty colors here and I put it on my eyes for my eyeshadow. Helps not have to carry additional makeup. And speaking of makeup, I also am one when I travel, I like to wear waterproof mascara. However, I hate having waterproof mascara on my lashes because it sticks so badly and I hate having to like rub it so hard or pull it off my lashes. So I found a little hack. Take regular mascara, put that on first, and then take your waterproof mascara and put it on top of the regular and voila, 
it's waterproof, but it comes off much easier than if you did all the waterproof mascara. That's how I travel now. Waterproof on top of my regular. Cleans is easier, comes off easier, but it's still waterproof where as if I was in the ocean or in the pool, it isn't gonna run if I just had it like this. So, regular, waterproof. I don't know about you, but I'm one that has pretty fair skin and I burn pretty darn easy, especially since I live in Minnesota. Our sun is not very strong here, so my skin can burn very easily. And pretty much any time I go on a beach vacation where I'm in the sun, I probably will get sunburned no matter how much sunscreen I put on. And you know what really helps? Ibuprofen. This right here will help swelling and soothe your skin. Sunburn is an inflammation of your skin and ibuprofen is an anti-inflammatory. See what I'm saying? Yes, it does work. I have taken ibuprofen when I've had sunburn. It definitely helps soothe my skin. So be sure to take this, lather up on the moisturizer and the discomfort of your sunburn will be so much better. When I'm on a plane, I pretty much try to do whatever I can to be as comfortable as I can while I'm sitting in a seat for hours on end. Which means I always have my hair down when I travel so that I don't have a ponytail or bun, um, you know, keeping my head forward or hitting it on the back of the seat. There's nothing more annoying than not being able to keep your head straight and in comfort while you're traveling. Hair down is how I like to travel. And I've never been one that naturally wakes up with flawless, beautiful, straight hair. It's actually quite frightening how my hair is. Between the waves and the puffiness of my hair, yeah, I was not blessed with a good head of hair. And yes, when it's exposed to the elements, it kind of likes to do its own thing. So if I'm in a dry, humid environment, my hair is pretty much like this, mixed with a bunch of frizziness. It's pretty gross. So I'm actually pretty darn proud of myself because I have mastered the messy bun. It's probably not the best bun, but it works. And yeah, my messy bun, this works for when I'm traveling. I pretty much always have a hair tie on my wrist no matter I'm traveling or if I'm at home because when my hair gets nasty and I can no longer handle it, I throw it in a messy bun and voila, I'm good to go for the day. So don't forget a hair tie, put it on your wrist, and you'll always be able to do something with your hair if it decides to do its own thing. And there you have it. Thank you so much for joining me on this little chit chat. And now I wanna hear your beauty hacks. Comment below, I would love to see what others do um, for other tips and tricks. And I will leave the links to all the things I talked about down below so you can look back at those. And yes, if you haven't liked this video and subscribed, Thanks again, you guys. I will see you next time. See ya.